Hello viewers, Tim Poole here from Gambling Insider and I'm with Stefanos Karakidis, uh, Head of Business Development at BetB. Stefanos, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to chatting to you about all things sports betting, all things Bet Builder and, and BetB. Um, to start off with, how do you reflect on BetB's journey so far from an overall perspective? Yeah, I think it's been an extremely successful year, you know. I've been also, we've been with the company for the last 16, 17 months, so we've seen massive growth. Um, just to mention, like, some very big partnerships, you know, like Pixbet, you know, in Brazil especially, and some other, like, big operators, tier one, that will be announced soon. We're going to do some media on this. And I would say product has been also been optimized. We have launched um, different also, like, sub-departments, such as AI Labs, but also not forget to mention, like, Baby Games, our exclusive in-house um, product which I like to call them actually virtual esports and we recently got like the MGA license as an esports outfit so I think yeah it's been extremely successful not only in terms of revenues but in the same time in terms of uh, developing and delivering a more successful a complete sports book solution. Um, I mentioned bet builders and we're going to talk a little bit later on about how sports betting might be changing um, but bet builders in general as a player I love bet builders um, a real innovation within the industry the last couple of years. Um, from the supplier perspective, what can you tell us about, about your bet builders and how you think the actual bet builders are maybe changing the industry at the moment? Yeah, a very good point actually. Bet builder, I think, is uh, in a very high demand. Every, I would say, new operator who is coming on board or we're just like discussing, he's really requesting a very complete bet builder because I believe really the, the, like the end user like to have this kind of flexibility right and these unlimited betting opportunities where he can have like different combos okay on the same match or different match okay and I think it's something we also really focus you know by developing you know a more complete bed builder which is fully in-house and give us as well this kind of flexibility on adding additional markets you know and having let's say a bed builder that will really attract the, the end user when it comes to sports betting overall, obviously it's a very competitive industry, right? You guys know what you're doing, but you know that you have a lot of a lot of good competition as well. What does a sportsbook supplier have to do to really kind of uh, compete with the powerhouses of the industry in in, in today's market? Yeah, um, I think offering not only like a complete sportsbook solution, a complete product. You know, as you say, like Bet Builder is one of the key features, you know, and functionalities that uh, the operator is really looking into. But I think it's also like having the flexibility and agility in terms of adjusting to new regulations, you know, uh, new market requirements such as what's going on with Brazil at the moment, you know, so everyone's really f focusing on Brazil as American market, you know, it's a new regulation that's coming on into force from January. So I think uh, as an organization, as BEDBI, you know, we also try to focus on having a complete sports book and also really try to optimize the services we provide you know because it's not only like the product that we deliver we also need to have like an exceptional service you know to our partners in different regions but also the adaptability of the product in terms of uh, having like a localized product that would fit to any geo that we that the operators you know like having uh, players from so I think these are like some keys to take and it's also like a lot of like internal developments, you know, like we have in-house a lot of uh, importance that was given to AI, to artificial intelligence. It's something that I would say it's like a game changer, you know, in terms of customization and localization of, you know, the front end and the product itself. Mm -hmm. um, that's a nice segue into kind of uh, what I'm going to ask you next. In terms of sort of the technical offering, what are the most recent updates you guys can give us in terms of what BetB is offering the market? Yeah, um, I would like to start with BetB Games. As I said earlier, you know, it touch based on the BetB Games, which is an in-house product. So um, it's an esports odd solution where I believe we saw like the product got recognized. We saw a great like response from the operators in terms of revenues, but as well in terms of uh, being successful, you know, and popular. So we decided just to focus on developing and optimizing the product, not only by adding new titles, but at the same time, like, uh, adding additional features, like we're working on adding the bet builder as well on the BetB games, uh, adding more betting markets to provide more betting opportunities to, to the user. 
In addition to this, I will also touch base on the AI Labs, which is actually a new department that we also presented on during ICE last, you know, a uh, few months ago, and it's uh, really like I would say game changer in terms of uh, using the sportsbook data of the operator and try to level to level up the business in terms of uh, using for marketing activity, in terms of using for combo boost, in terms of do, using for like personalized message to the user based on the betting pattern. You know, so I would say like as many of the operators and many of the like providers are really focusing on artificial intelligence, I think Betbill is also really trying to let's say level up the operation by using AI, but in the same time trying to optimize risk management and trading, which is also another very important part of the day-to-day -day sportsbook operations. And AI, I would say, can play a very important role on how we can easily, uh, let's say, apply to the day-to-day -day trading. You know? For my final question, yeah. uh, we've talked about a few different topics and AI can play a part here, bet builders can play a part here, and there's many different ways you can answer this, it's quite an open one, but is sports betting right now, fundamentally, is sports betting changing? Yeah, 100%, I think it's changing, we see it as well with new regulation, we see from with Brazil especially, which is the biggest example, I mean, we ex the expectation that Brazil is going to be one of the biggest, you know, like regulated market worldwide, and Chile and Peru is going to follow as well their pattern, you know, in terms of becoming regulated. And it's not only changing the betting, let's call it, landscape, you know, in terms of product, but it's also changing in terms of regulation. And we see from, because we already have like big presence in Brazil, we work with tier one operators such as Pixbet, we see that all these operators are trying to adjust, you know, to the new regulations. And we also try from our side as supplier, as provider, to optimize our product and also make it fit and tailor it to the specific market based on the new regulation. Okay. So yeah, I think it's a very interesting topic that mm, the landscape is changing and as a you know, provider we always try to be ready you know, to adapt to the new reality, let's call it. You know? Well, Stefanos, thanks very much for your time. Really enjoyed speaking with you and best of luck with everything. Thank you very much, mate. It has been a pleasure. Thank you, guys.